The team of creators at Psych2Go would like to recognize and praise the overwhelming support and sense of community that we have seen among our viewers. On previous videos, many brave viewers have shared their own experiences with mental illness or abusive relationships, and have been met with kind words and advice from others. We hope to encourage a safe and supportive environment for all, and we would like to thank our viewers for making this possible. We hope to see a similar response to this video, 7 Ways to Deal with Abusive Parents. 1. Contact a resource. The National Domestic Violence Hotline is available to anyone at 1-800-799-7233. There are always local resources you can find by means of a quick phone call or internet search. In an emergency, however, always call 911. We will include several helpful resources in the description box below. 2. Talk to someone. Whether you're wanting an intervention or simply someone to lend an ear, talking to a counselor, therapist, or even a friend can help. Someone else can help you find resources if you are unable to, or they can be there to cheer you on in rough times. 3. Find a safe space. If you feel in any way unsafe or uncomfortable at home, look out for other places where you do feel safe and sane. Keep these places in mind when you need a moment to yourself, and consider if these are places you can go in an urgent situation. 4. Don't blame yourself. No matter what your parent may say or try to show you, their behavior is not your fault. Abusing a child is never okay under any circumstances, no matter how much the child may misbehave or provoke their parent. You deserve every bit of help you can get, so please don't be afraid to ask for it. 5. Keep a journal. It's not uncommon to unconsciously block out or forget traumatic moments in the past, so it may be helpful to make a journal of all incidents, thoughts, and feelings you have. Journaling may also be a helpful emotional release for you, and it's up to you whether you share your writing or not. 6. Don't provoke your parent. When possible, it is in everyone's best interest to avoid abusive and violent situations. If certain behaviors tend to provoke an abusive parent, try to avoid these triggers if you can. 7. Trust yourself. If you don't feel safe, it is okay to leave the situation. Go to your safe space or contact one of your friends in your circle of support. Trust your gut instincts when it comes to reading possibly abusive situations. Remember that your safety comes first. We would like to thank our sponsor BetterHelp for making online counseling affordable and available. We have attached a link to BetterHelp in the description box below for anyone who might be interested. Online counseling is a great way to get yourself the help you need, even if you aren't ready to see anyone in person. This comment section is a safe space to share questions, reactions, stories, or advice. Please be supportive and respectful of others. Thanks for watching.